This is my second long water fast with Doug. I've also done a shorter one with him. And what's brought me here is that based on my prior experiences, which have been just absolutely amazing, um, I felt I was in need of, an, of, of a fast at this point in time in my life. Um, a fast for me is very regenerative. Um, when I fasted last time, it brought me all kinds of energy, mental clarity, and it's just something I want again. Um, you know, life is <laughs> life in the West is uh, is very stressful. I work very hard, and I always find that um, a, a good fast really recenters me and gets me ready for the challenges that life bring every day. So I'm here handling some, you know, just some some stress-related issues and trying to get my life um, back centered and and, and 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 back on track and really refine also refining a fast is also a good way to refine your healthy habits as well um, because you abstain from things like you know from salt and all kinds of bad food it makes it so easy to really really eat um, eat really clean when you're done with a fast so it's, an, it's a way also of um, kind of recalibrating uh, my system to, to, to be even healthier um, when I get back to back to eating again my wife and daughter came here and uh, fasted. My daughter uh, came here just before her wedding uh, 12 years ago. And uh, she was determined to um, um, alleviate some symptoms that she had. And, uh, and uh, indeed they were alleviated just before her wedding, um, which was six months later. And she looked great. And uh, my wife also had some issues that... that uh, we're alleviated, and we've been uh, uh, pretty much following the 8-10 diet uh, with minor uh, deviations that uh, it's hard to break loose from. Mm -hmm. But um, since I was not retired, I couldn't take the time to come here. Uh, and now that I am retired, I uh, found the time to come here. Well, I fasted with Doug for the first time in 2005. I did 27 days. I dropped about 35 pounds, went from 203 to 168, something like that. Um, it was amazing. It was a great experience. I just remember it being very idyllic uh, by the pool and with the hammock and the monkeys coming in the afternoon. And, and uh, I don't know, I was in pretty good shape coming in. So it was really effortless. And then the giant, giant bowls of mango at, 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 during, during the refeeding. 2013 was my next fast, um, a little bit less eventful, a little bit less dramatic, but I dropped almost the same amount of weight, and it's a great, great chance for the body to reset. So here we are in 2022, and I felt that I was kind of due. Um, I do for another fast, have some issues. My vision is declining a little bit, have some, um, let's say, urological issues. Um, and what else? Not Nothing else, really, but... Just felt like a fast would, would do me some good. I live outside of Chicago now in a city called Naperville, 45 minutes south and west of Chicago. And I lived 30 years in Puerto Rico. Um, I'm actually a practicing doctor of chiropractic. And what brings me here is I want to learn more about the uh, fasting and healing process. Um, Ever since I started looking into improving health back in 2004, one of the names that come up is Dr. Doug Graham. So, uh, I find it very interesting that uh, the opportunity has arisen, so uh, made plans to come out here and, and give it a try, and try to do an extended fast. I'd done a couple on my own. Uh, without supervision, <clears throat> based on some books that I had read, but uh, that was early on, and, and the further I got into the health and healing ideas, uh, it, it became clear to me that I could really use some supervision. Uh, yeah, so... But yeah, this is, this is turning out to be a, a, very, uh, a very big learning experience. So I'm real happy to be here. This is, uh, this is the place to be. 
I wouldn't fast with anyone else, really, because I've, I've worked with Doug for a number of years and I've, I've calculated it with his, with his clinics and his retreats and, and the number of people that he had fasting in parallel, Doug has done more supervision of fasting than any human alive or probably that, that ever will live. He's probably over a hundred person years of fasting supervision on top of the fact that he's originated the 80-10-10 diet, which is in retrospect a little bit obvious that we should eat our natural human diet and solely our natural human diet. But yeah, and, and then on top of his uh, experience as a, as a trainer, training gymnasts and training uh, cyclists and being the nutritionist for cyclists rather, and now currently still holding at least one powerlifting record in the UK and, and continuing to increase his, his lifts at 68 years of age, I, I don't think that I want to listen to anyone else really. I've heard of other other fasting centers, but but I've never heard much about those people. Mm -hmm. uh, I haven't seen any YouTube videos. I haven't seen any books written by them. Um, Doug Graham, please go ahead. No worries. Mm -hmm. Doug Graham is not only uh, leading people in in these fasting retreats, but He's also really big on nutrition and uh, sports, exercise physiology, things of that nature. So, you know, as far as I'm concerned, this is the total package, right? Um, proper nutrition, whatever is optimal for the human body. Uh, and I've resisted a lot of his ideas as I went along, but, you know, the closer I get to his program, the 80-10-10 diet, the more it becomes apparent the guy's got some really deep insight. Um, and so this, this program here is going to help uh, get us through the fast. Then when the fast is done, we're going to start some refeeding, which is an important thing. You need to know how to refeed appropriately. It's my understanding from my limited knowledge, right? You can't just jump in and eat whatever it was you're eating before because you've got to reawaken your system but once the refeeding is done and we're getting well I guess at the same time I, th I think he's going to start um, guiding us in in proper exercise you know I don't know of any other fasting program that's uh, that's a water fasting program that produce uh, some good results like uh, I saw with my wife and my daughter and, uh, of course, uh, Dr. Graham is uh, my brother-in-law, so that helps. And uh, um, so I know he would take good care of me. And uh, um, I am uh, confident that um, I will have a good fast. So far, I have good uh, first five days. I feel good. I don't have some of the issues that were described by other people, like... Uh, Headaches, uh, acid reflux, uh, kidney hurts, hurting them, and um, I, uh, I'm not as tired as some people are. So I feel like I'm in good shape to have a smooth, smooth sailing through the fast. Right. I even saw you in the pool, like. Yeah, I, I, I swam yesterday, but uh, you know, I feel a little weaker, but uh, uh, I still have energy. So. Um, I'm hoping that uh, I'm looking forward to the real fast kicking in and uh, and really uh, detox, which is basically detoxifying as much as I can. Yes. I do have some issues and and I'm monitoring my issues and <laughs> uh, and seeing if there's any improvement from day to day. Right on. So far, there's no. Uh, there may I may not see it may be improvement maybe like watching the grass grow. But I don't see anything detrimental. How was your experience of your first week of fasting? Mm, pretty easy. I, I've dropped about 20 pounds, mostly water. I, I attribute that to salt in my former diet, my relatively current diet. And I want to change that because it's very dramatic when you realize that, that your body might be holding on to as much as 20 pounds or at least say 18 pounds, two pounds of fat and 18 pounds of water. So, yeah. Um, We've got a great little house, new house, hot shower, 
people have been, the service has been really great. The laundry service is regular. And, um, you know, people keep the water bottles filled, they drink enough water to, to clean out. And it's been, it's been super easy. It's a little tiny bit of weakness. Um, the stairs are starting to feel like a challenge. I don't remember that from my prior fast, but obviously time has passed since then. I'm tired. I'm tired. So I am, I'm glad to have people looking out after us, right? You know, he's got uh, people that comes in in the morning and then again in the afternoon to check on us and make sure we got everything we need and they're monitoring vitals and so we're being watched over we're being watched over it's been um it's actually been a very easy transition um like i said i've fast before so i kind of know what to expect um and actually i've done some also some shorter shorter fast than what i've done with doug as well and it's been really um it's been you know really really simple and straightforward no no crazy symptoms or anything like that so just uh you know, I'm starting to slow down a little bit, but overall it's been very, very peaceful and easy. And if anything, it's feeling really good because I'm feeling that I'm unwinding and, you know, beginning to kind of get into a more settled mode. You know, I'm always kind of feeling like I'm on edge with all the crazy things going on. And, you know, one of the great things about Doug's Fast is that you're in a beautiful environment also that's really conducive to, to fasting. Um, and fasting, as you know, is just, it's kind of a fancy way of saying resting. So it's really, um, I'm really getting into that mode and it feels, um, it feels pretty good so far.